I'm a five-time world heavyweight champion, Jacoby Hammond, who with us at the desk now, but it's our ma second of our main events here tonight on Fan Appreciation Night here on Coast to Coast. Jacoby, what are your thoughts on this match? You know, I'm just pretty much watching it. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, of course I'm, you know, I've been champion five times, you know, and um, to me that world heavyweight title represents being the very best of the sport, and that's what we're all striving for in this sport. And um, you know, once you've been there, it's never far from your mind. It's, you know, I've been there five times, so it's constantly on my mind getting back into contention for that title. So does that mean you possibly might be challenging the winner of this match? Somewhere down the line. Well, you know, uh, of course, uh, as I said, I want to get back in the contention for the title, so yes. But sometime I hope I do get another, I'm hoping I will get another shot. Because I was timing off there. You know, the thing that's interesting about this now, uh, Mike, is that uh, how Kurosawa's whole attitude changed after he lost the, the title to this guy, uh, you know, to, 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 to Ali. Uh, you know, he uh, was out here before the match last time talking about how he never heard of this guy and who was Prince Ali Assad. Well, if he didn't know who he was, but at the beginning of that match, he knew by the end of the night. But, you know, he was just being, I think, being facetious or whatever. He knew who everybody... Unless you've been hiding on the rock for the last 20 years, you know who Prince Ali Assad is. Certainly, if you're in that, lock, in that locker room, you know who he is. This guy trained me and so many others. I had a hand in training me and so many others in the locker room. About 80% of that locker room have been trained by him. Ah, oh, that fisherman suplex, but too close to the ropes. Now we've been seeing um Prince Ali use that a lot. Well, you know the thing with uh, Prince Ali Assad, you know, the thing is with this guy is the bottom line with him is no matter what else whatever else the match uh, might evolve into, it goes back to wrestling for him. Now you know Kurosawa was challenging him to a ladder match and I think uh some other kind of specialty matches and you know I think uh Prince Ali Assad and all the time I've known him, I've never known him to compete in any, any, any type matches like that, of that, of that type. Wrestling his forte, and uh, I think, as a matter of fact, I think he has in his contract that uh, he doesn't do specialty matches. I think he even had that in his contract in the, in the old TWA days. By TWA, you mean Transcontinental Wrestling Alliance, right? We can say that now. Yes, I know all, I know about the legalities have been cleared up now. We can say that. Say that. But uh, yeah, I just call it the TWA. I still refer to it as that. Two. Three. You know, so you know, it's kind of absurd for him to think that uh, Prince Ali saw it after all these years was gonna wrestle him in any kind of special match that he wanted, or anything like that. Now, any kind of special match, like a, I think he even suggested like a last man standing match. This guy lives and breathes the wrestling. Uh, that's all they saw. And that's what it's all about to him. Not any kind of stunts or any kind of gimmick matches is what he calls them. You know, I, call, I was being nice call them specialty matches, but he calls them gimmick matches. Interesting point, Jacoby. That's all they saw on the attack now. Champion firmly in control of things right now, momentarily. Yeah, we've seen momentum swing back and forth in this match um, several times. Either one of these men can be taken lightly, and I think this match will come down to basically, or could come down to who's um, got the best cardiovascular condition. Wow, look at that move there. Prince Ali Assad. Yeah, this guy knows every type of suplex there is. That was um, one of the rare ones you, one of the rarest ones that you all ever see that used by anyone. But, um, 
I think a wrestling Taz used to use that a lot. Like in the old ECW days. Called the Taz Flex. Not that he invented or anything. Oh, back to Fisherman Suplex now. One, two, three. Wow. I saw it retains the heavyweight title.